Hello and welcome to this video. Um, in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to recite without a border in your form. And by the way, I'm sorry for the bad sound quality. At least I think it is quite bad. Um, that is because I'm using my 360 headset. Um, so it's not working that well. So anyway, let's go on. Press OK to make a new Visual Basic form. Let's go to the property panel of the form, clear the text or something, make sure you change your form border style to none, of course, because that is actually the point of this video. Uh, so we don't, damn it, we don't need to change anything. So we go to our toolbox, we're going to select a panel, um, I'm only doing this for the width, so you want to take two panels and two timers. Let's do a border size of um, 5, so go to the property panel, chain uh, of your panel, go to size, type in 5 and then colon 100 or something, uh, well let's do 200, semicolon by the way. So let's change our form also to at uh, 200 200 oh that's the wrong one 200 so le let's select our panel again and go to the location and you'll see a uh, larger value than the other one and this is l uh, smaller than this one so we need to replace the smallest one with a zero so it will align at the top so use your arrow keys to put it in right just next to it to the border actually so go to your property panel again go to cursor cursor and select um uh well it's auto recovering sorry yeah and select size w e from west east east so double click on it uh go to the sub uh, mouse down and mouse up. It's actually pretty easy to do, not much code involved. So in this one, type in dim a l x and c comma c l x as integer. Um, okay, a l x means um, application location, and then the x x axis, and this uh, stands for cursor location x so uh, on mouse down we are going to type in timer one dot start and sync sync it's not a command oh ah damn wrong one just sync and going to give an error but we are going to ignore it and on the mouse down uh, up we're going to type in timer stop and sync again so Let's go to our class and type in private sub sync, press enter, and now we're going to type in alx equals me dot location, location dot x, and clx is of course cursor dot position dot x. Um, so you probably have to do uh, declare four variables, uh, going to be the uh, x alx, clx, C cly and ally and so you have to put them in there to um, I think you can figure it out at your own so we go, we go to the sub of the timer and we're going to type in this is really easy so me dot uh, width because the x stands for the width or at least the width uh, axis equals um C L X minus A L X. It's just a mathematical um thingy. So uh let's make the background color black so we can actually see where we have to drag it. You probably want to do this with background images and stuff so it looks more professional. So here we have our form see it's going to show up as uh, this cursor so oh 
oh damn, I forgot something really important. Uh, whenever you're trying to resize it, the um, this control automatically uh, is anchored to um, the top and the left, and we want to change that because those are not moving, but uh, actually the right and the bottom are moving. So we go to our property panel. Here you see in on layout you see anchor. Just untick these. Oh, and tick these. And let's try it again. Oh well, um another way thing forgotten again. Um you probably want to change uh, the interval of the timer to one so one millisecond so it will work properly um... let's check everything ah i know i did one little thing wrong and that is you have to type in sync also in the timer because that is one of the important ones um... so see now we can just drag it up like that okay i know it's not the best one you can also build your own handler uh... but i i kinda like this one because it is pretty easy to do um, because i'm explaining this it t takes longer uh, uh... to figure out i was like seven minutes of thinking because i made a tutorial on how to move it so if you want to check that one too look at my channel and type in boardless or check this video reply because i think i'm going to reply this video to that video that sounds pretty stupid but well it's actually pretty easy um, where you're going to apply this one you are you don't have like uh, you are just going to uh, put in two minutes in this and then you can use it uh, uh, resizing the width and the height so it's not that difficult at all um, maybe it's uh, hard for you uh, to remember this um, but if you know this it's really import, uh, important not really but it's really easy so uh, thanks for watching this video uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me um, so yeah uh, my email address is at the video of the description so thanks for watching again and I'll catch you later